So I figured I'd give you guys a bit of a showing of what we have in the greenhouse here. I'll start you off with the Indian sweet lime. Uh, we started this from seed. As you can see, the height of that plant right there. I would say this is about six months to a year. This peppermint geranium that we took a cutting of uh, needs replanting and it's kind of getting dried out in the soil and everything. Uh, here we have a licorice flag. Uh, a cutting of a bay laurel plant. This is a Aztec dream herb. Which is kind of interesting. This is a cutting of a cactus that I got off of a friend. It's no-named. Uh, I'm not sure of the variety. If anybody can tell what it is, please let me know. Post in the comment section below. Here we have a uh, cutting, which is actually grafted on uh, of a pepper, or no, uh, Persian lime. Here we have sour sop grown from seed. Beside it is turmeric, which is a rhizome. We also have a ginger growing outside. Underneath is a Spanish lime. Yeah, we grew that from seed as well. Here is a kefir lime. It's about a five, six foot tall tree. Behind it is a bay laurel or a bay leaf. And it goes up towards our gak fruit. Which is a really interesting fruit. It's all kind of spiky and it's got a really intense orange color on the inside. Really, it's got some good possibilities for culinary use, in my opinion. And over here is a prickly pear cactus or an optuna. That's it of the. It's a red variety. Down below we have a goji berry. As you can see, it's flowering right now. There's actually a little berry over here. Behind it is a Chilean guava. Here we have a miracle fruit. It's only about uh, two feet, two and a half feet high. Behind it is an Australian brush cherry. This is a tea plant or a camellia, sinensis. Behind it is a, some yellow dragon fruit seedlings. Now here's our dragon fruit pile. Which is, it consists of some white dragon fruits, which are right here. I believe purple dragon fruits, uh, red dragon fruits, and purple dragon fruits. This is a pineapple plant that we just kind of cut off from one of our plants inside. I'm not exactly sure of the variety. There's some more cuttings of that cactus that I don't know of. This is a bloodleaf banana. Here is our mango plant, which is a Magnifera indica. Beneath we have some Jeruk Limu or Citrus Amblycarpa. This is a pink peppercorn. Over there is a banana. I'm not exactly sure of the variety. It didn't come with a tag, but it's got a beautiful leaf on it. Over there is a magenta plant. I really need to take it out of the greenhouse because it gets too hot in here and it's just not a fan of it. Of the major heat and everything. On top we have a giant etrog, or a giant citron, where we actually source these seeds from Israel. So they're completely legit. Non grafted, grown on their own seed, citron. 
down here we have a strawberry guava. And behind it is a pineapple guava. To the right of it is a pumpkin tangerine. It's actually got tangerines all over it right now. Friggin' bee nearly stung me right there. Down below is a Eureka lemon. And it's actually flowering as well. Be a little fruit on there somewhere, I could have sworn. Beside it is an apple guava. It's a pink apple guava. Beneath is a sea variety. I'm not sure I even ordered, but once I looked it up, I was very excited that I got it. <laughs> It's a nootropic, and I can't pronounce the name, it's Celestrius Penicillatus, I believe. And this is supposed to be very interesting as a nootropic. So, interesting find, really. Uh, this is a key lime, and it's bursting with flowers and fruit right now. Keep in mind, all of this is organic. Nothing but organic fertilizers, and kelp, and... Um, some worm juice, bad guanos, compost teas, and we're in Canada as well, so don't think that you can't do it as well. Grow your own citrus, grow your own guava. Here we have a navel orange, it's got some fruit on it. Here's a kefir lime again, another one. Beneath it is a Persian lime. A bit bigger one. And it's bursting with flowers and fruit as well. Over here we have some miniature pomegranates that we started from seed. This is a Barbados cherry. Behind it is a Meyer lemon. It's also flowering. And this is a star ruby grapefruit. Beneath is our ponderosa lemon. Uh, it actually had a bug problem in the other room, so I was spraying it with a bunch of things from rock dust and molasses, and, and I'm not sure what I used, but it created a sticky substance like on the leaves, and it was almost impossible to get off to the point that it was uh, smothering the plant. So I just plucked the leaves off and left a bunch in hopes that uh, it would sprout new leaf growth out of the, those areas. Uh, luckily, the plant was strong enough and, and it survived and did exactly what I thought it was going to do. And it just started to flower now. I figured I might as well leave them on there. It's got enough new healthy growth over there in order to sustain it, or sustain it and everything. But behind it is a gold nugget mandarin, a golden nugget. Here is a red mecan Sarawak orange, which we started from seed. Over here is our Kalamondin, which we've been, um, we're going to try out a new design. Over here we have a Manello Tangelo, Manello. And behind it is a Moro Blood Orange. Up here we have another gag fruit. So you see what you can pack into a small area. And we're actually going to be bringing in more citrus. Um, a few of our ones that we just still have outside. Which are Rio red grapefruit. It's a nice big tall tree. Super trunk on there. Another navel orange, which is flowering. Nice big orange on there. Our Lakeland lime quats, which you can see here, full of fruit. They flower all year. We've basically been plucking these 
uh, in order to use for like um, uh, salad dressings and beer and things like that. They have a really interesting floral, like lime taste. Over here we had this plant. This is a San Marzano tomato. We were going to sell this, but it never ended up uh, being bought. And it just laid here on the wood chips and produced unbelievable results. So what we're going to do is try this again next year, just growing on wood chips with rock dust and see how this turns out. You can see some of the tomatoes down there. It's being guarded by this super arachnid. Dun, dun, dun. Talk about protection.